Uh, I think that's about us ready to go. Let's go and play through Sonic Generations. It'll just be a fun little experience to play it once again. I've played it twice, I think, all the way through. Let's go. Now I've got the music a little too low, but I can change that after this menu thing. After after this menu thing? After this level? What am I talking about? Ugh. I also actually kind of forgot the controls of Classic Sonic. Ugh. So for those that don't know, though I imagine the handful that are watching the beginning of this stream at least do know already, I am a little experienced with Sonic, but not a crazy amount. Uh, on the on my old YouTube channel, at least I've played... Oh, well, that was effective. I've played Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, and Sonic Adventure DX and Sonic Adventure 2, and that's all I've covered. I've also in real life played... Uh, what have I played? Sonic Heroes, obviously Sonic Generations, and I think that might be it. There's probably other stuff that I should know. Uh, Sonic R was a thing, but, you know, no one, no one really cares too much about that one. Uh, and I, oh, Sonic Advance 2, I loved that game, but otherwise, yeah, not too, I guess I'm kind of into it though, because, you know, it's a fair few amount of Sonic games to play, but, oh well. Ugh, wouldn't say I'm a pro at Sonic by any chance, but Sonic Generations, I'm not bad, mainly because it just plays pretty well and quickly, you know, so you can't really not be bad, or not be good even. Da -da 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 -da. I also quite like how it just throws you right into a level, it's like, yeah, let's play. No dilly-dallying, no story needed, as much as I do like, oops. Whoa, okay, that worked. All right, didn't think it would. As much as I do like my story in Sonic games sometimes, it's nice that this one just is like, here you go, have some fun with classic Sonic for the first time, even though Sega's now never gonna let it go. Ugh, ugh, lovely. Nope. There we go. Oh gosh, that's so satisfying. Until you fall down the whole thing, sure, but you know what I mean. Can I... Oh, why can't I do the spin thing? There we go. I assume the... Oh, i got to check if my uh, graphics are actually working right. Like, the, my bitrate might be all messed up. How does it look? Well, it's running smoothly enough. I think the quality is okay, but I'm playing it quite low quality on my laptop to see what's going on. But yeah! All is good? I think so. I have a whole lot of Skype notifications that have popped up on my laptop. That's weird. Hold on. Let me just delete all these. Because ah. I don't use Skype and it has to give me all the birthday things at once. Come on. Thank you. Apparently there's been eight people's birthdays on Skype. Don't know who you are, but happy birthday to you. Um, also, let me just check. Does the title fit with Sonic? Doesn't say Xenoblade Chronicles anymore? Just thought I'd ask. To refresh the title role. Ah, you guys. It's kind of impossible to surprise you. You totally got me this time. I had no idea. Yeah, right. Happy birthday, Sonic. Hope you like this. Like it. I love it!
Yay, menu screen. Right, now I've had my fun since we can't go to the left. Let's go to this weird place. Everyone knows this. Does everyone know this game already? Um, has anyone actually seen this for the first time? Just thought I'd ask. Because I'm not really like... So say I'm not invested, it's not quite right. But I'm not, you know, crazy into the story because I, I've seen it a thousand times. Played it twice myself and then like I've watched multiple people let's play it, you know? Nothing's new to me, I'm just sort of doing the motions because I really like the game. One of the best Sonic games, how can you not? I do not apparently know how to change rails, okay. Also, we never really see these super thin paths on Sonic games ever. I'm not even sure if you see it again ever in this game, let alone, you know, ever. That was completely backwards, you know what I mean. Oh, I messed that up. That's the one thing I can never do right on these Sonic levels. I'm just not very good at modern ones. The classic ones are much better to me, because they're just... I don't know, easier? Smoother? There's more, like, options, I guess? Like, this one, you have to do things in a certain way. You have to know when to jump and all that. It's too much to sort of just predict. I'm trying something. There we go. I like the Sonic Adventure reference in that one at least. Let's see if I could work out what button it is. Is it literally just left and right? It might literally just be left and right. Ooh, Sonic was attached to the railing there. Don't mind me. Oops. Oh, it is just the things. Okay. Sonic Adventure reference. Favorite pose. I like that it's always the last one. Alrighty then. Oh, that's the one the one bit that always usually messes me up. I'm glad I didn't get it wrong that time. Huh. Oops. I'm too busy holding X to do anything else. go, my brief moment of concentration. Really good. Oh, there's another one. Alright, I didn't know that was bad. Uh, last time I played this game I think was about a year ago actually. Maybe over the summer. Uh, I remember I wanted to do it 100% so I wanted to do all the mini missions that no one likes to actually play. And I was like, oh, this isn't too bad. But I gave up halfway through because I also got bored. And hey, I had things to do. Busy uni student and all that. Speaking of, actually, I'm right at the end of my uh, semester for this first half of my third year, so I should really be busy doing work and deadlines. Oops. Part of the reason I've been a little less uh, immersed in my upload on YouTube, just because I've been busy doing uni work. But oh well, that'll clear up in a couple of weeks. Christmas break and all that. place we were just in awfully familiar mm, not to me but this place looks like something sucked all the life and color out of it totally strange yeah, no stranger than rescuing genies and magic books or saving aliens in an interstellar amusement park i'm more concerned about finding our friends hey sonic i saw something over there in the distance like buildings but they look weird that might be a good place to check out I'll be back soon. Ooh, thanks for the follow, Dark Queen Panda. Thanks for joining us. Oh, you weren't kidding when you said soon. I thought you already left. Curious to know if you are coming along from my previous channel stuff or if you're here specifically for Sonic. Who knows? Alright, now we can switch between the Sonics, which is pretty good, because I think I'm going to make it so that I always do modern Sonic levels first, and then uh, classic Sonic, just because I like the interactions with classic Sonic with the other characters, because whoever you play as second is the one that the characters react to. 
Um, now, before I do that, I'm going to quickly freeze the game, don't mind me, just while I bump up my own volume. Yeah, I know, wrong order, but you're used to see... I also just don't want to hear Sonic's voice that much. Sorry, sue me. Uh, back to the game, please. Thank you. Whoa, hello! Doc Parker, thanks for following. Apparently Sonic is really popular on this. Hmm. Right. I also really like how there's just a constant medley of music's going along. Can I go left now? Yes, I can. All right. So here's a memory room where you unlock a bunch of stuff. I actually really like this. I think this might be more the reason I did all the mini missions, or I wanted to. I really like the art. Uh, everything else is okay. The music's obviously cool. Characters, no one really cares about. The movies, sure. But I really like the art you can unlock with all this. Oh, well. What else is this? You've got a, a shop for upgrades, I think? That I don't really like taking part in, but, you know, there's something for you. And let's get out of this, please. What are you again? Oh, information pod. No, thank you. Right. Ugh. Let's go into chemical plant zone. Sure, Sonic has the voice of an angel, but I like the idea of Silent Sonic more. Also, hey, the uh, titling of my big yellow Daz name in the corner kind of fits with the, the menu screens. It, it fits with the colouring, with the blue and the yellow. I like it. Anyway, um, I got a little bit of reality trivia about this game and me. Alright, let's go right into the corridor. I have always wanted to let's play this game ever since like I basically started my YouTube channel. But I wanted to do things a little bit differently. I might have actually mentioned it when I first played the first Sonic the Hedgehog. But I wanted to play every single Sonic game that appears in this uh, game before Let's Playing Sonic Generations. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to put in a little link so that when I eventually did play this game, ooh, you uh, could find a link to all my other Let's Plays as I played each level. Um, you can actually see this in the first Sonic the Hedgehog Let's Play I made. When, you first go, when I first finished the Green Hill level, there was a giant ring that appears in the corner of the video. That was supposed to be a hidden link that I was going to add to every Sonic game with the like iconic level that appears in this game. So that you'd always be able to click that uh, link and come to the Sonic Generations Let's Play and vice versa. If you saw the big uh, ring that would be at the end of every one of these levels that I would edit in, it would take you to me playing that original level from that original game. It was a cool idea, I liked it, and then I forgot to do it for Sonic Adventure DX. And then I was like, you know, wow, this whole YouTube thing's really falling flat on its face. Maybe I won't do that idea and just play the game I want to play instead. Instead of, you know, grueling through all the other ones as well. Because that would mean I'd have to play Sonic 06, which I think I was planning on doing as a stream where I had to just get to, uh, whatever it's called, Empire City or whatever. Alright, now here's the non-fun part. Uh, it's still kind of fun, but you know what I mean. Although, actually, we're moving quite quickly, so... Okay, thanks. Bubble's just in the way. But yeah, that was my original plan. It would have been really cool. It could have been a really cool, conducted Let's Play. I like to think that the Let's Plays I made were pretty well done, like, the way I edited them and, like, brought them all together, but... Oh, well. Quantity, not quality, you know? So, oh, well. But now at least I get to play one of my favourite Sonic games, because this is, like, just, I don't know, top-notch quality made, you know? Ugh, it's a shame Sonic Forces was pretty mediocre. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was, but still, you know, it's pretty mediocre, but still not worth my, like, 50 pounds or however much it was going to cost me. Ugh. Thank you. Gosh, how many times do you want me to jump everywhere? I don't even not know this path at all. All right. Okay, maybe I do. I know this bit. Oh, I didn't know that would be an extra, extra path. There's so much diverging paths. But man, it makes me feel bad that I missed Sonic Mania. Like, I just watched people play it, but I'm like, man, the one good Sonic game, and I missed it, basically. You know, because I assumed Sonic Forces would be good. The hype got me. But, oh well. And done. This is going to be a really short Let's Play. There's only, like, ten levels. And they're, like, three minutes each. We're done in an hour. Crisis City, that's the one. It does suck that YouTube removed annotations, though I could technically put them on, I just wouldn't be able to put cards on them as well. Ugh. 
Oh, what's going on on the chat? Thank you, Dark Queen Panda. Uh, hopefully I can keep up that kind of high quality stuff. I just have to try and learn out how to do it in a live medium. Because usually I rely on just my post-editing. Oh well. It's like goes- oh, there we go. Artwork 1, I'm going to read that. I'm going to totally look at that. It's like the same with my um, Undertale idea that I still really want to do. Which is just un unlocking all the dialogue. Look at that. They're not really cool to anyone else. Like, god damn, I wish I could draw. If I was an artist, I'd- Oh. All I do at the moment is I've got uh, I've got the new uh, a new phone that takes really high quality pictures, so I just enjoy making really high quality pictures. But oh well, let's go to Classic Sonic for uh, teammates. And while I keep talking about something or other, what was I talking about? Oh, editing and Undertale. What I would really like to do with Undertale at some point is you know play the game and show off all dialogue, and I know exactly how I'd want to edit it if I did it you know pre-recorded with like making fun of like having a special editing effect every time we did a reset or something but like I can't I can't do that live so maybe you just have to watch me boringly reset and then I can edit it later or something or make make a second live series of me editing the Undertale let's play like that could be an idea I don't I don't know Can I Oh yes I timed it right cool I don't know man It's a shame cuz I really enjoy editing and it's one of the few things that Twitch kind of you know, it doesn't let you do. I mean, it does, but you know what I mean. Oh well, I'll work something out. I'm in a transitional period right now, I think. That's how I'd describe it. Alright, why do my rings all go in one direction? Just so I can't grab them? Like, come on, man. Oh, also, I've got a bad runny nose. I'm, I apologise if it grosses you out. I'm trying to keep it subtle with my sniffings, but... Uh, is it hay fever season? No. But I do get hay fever all year round, so maybe that's somehow related. How did I... How did that mess up? Where even am I? What is all this? Get out of here. Also, technically, though I am sure doing this in the wrong order, as people said earlier, this is technically the right order because Modern Sonic is ahead of Classic Sonic. So really, Classic Sonic would be taking this place on later, you know? He's behind Modern Sonic, so it all makes sense. And that's why Classic Sonic's the one that's unlocking all the friends. Because he, he you know, he finishes the place while Sonic gets there first. Because modern Sonic is faster than classic Sonic. Yeah? Maybe? I don't know. The logic is there. Can I do that again, please? Nope. Not like that. Alright, let's just do it this way. There we go. I'm trying too hard just to try and find these different paths. Oops. Alrighty then, not going that way. Noted. There we go. Whoop. Oh, okay. Why did I think you were immediately just going to go down? I assumed you were just automatically evil. Thank you. There's a lot of red rings available, huh? I didn't think I'd just bump into so many so easily. Oh, it's weird, I don't remember this level. Like, I remember it, but I just don't remember most of the paths I go on. Ooh! Thank you for the host, Dark Queen Panda. Much appreciated. <sighs> you know, this is me. The, the, the Nightbot that people are having problems with has actually been desensitized. I did desensitize the Nightbot, but there it is. Thank you, Daz184. You ready? Hmm. Did you have it before or after me, though? That name. Thank you, Sonic. Wow. You look younger every day. What's your secret? Haha. <laughs> Artwork 3! Damn right I'm- 
not getting that because I don't want to look down. There we go. Huzzah! Look at this. Like, sure, you might not have liked these, like, landscapey stuff, but that's really cool. Doesn't that not just look like really high quality fan art? Like, Sonic doesn't look his best, but it's just concept art. That's. Ah! I like art, man. I wish I could draw. I, uh, one of the things I have done a couple of times is tried to do a little drawing every day, but it does mean I improve. It never does. Right. Into other weird worlds. It's time for Sonic Heroes, which I would really like to play. <sighs> and the level designs are just so good in how, like, beautiful the, ga the, the places are, you know? Oh, I don't know, man. I just really like this game. Actually, no, this isn't Sonic Heroes. I'm thinking way later. This is a uh, Sonic 3? Is this an un and Knuckles thing? Is there a 3 without Knuckles? Oh, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a Genesis guy. That was 90s. I was, you know, basically non-existent in the 90s. I was born 96. My memories, my earliest memory of, my only memory of the 90s was uh, December 31st, 1999. I was really grumpy because I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, oh, like, what was the word I'm thinking of? I couldn't stay awake till midnight for New Year's, so I went to bed, like, cr not really crying, but, like, grumbling to myself because I couldn't stay up because I just was too tired. Alrighty then. So, uh, there's my memory of the 90s. Sadness. And I probably did a lot of crying in the 90s too, but thankfully I don't remember that stuff. Oh, it's really weird to think, though, actually. Uh, next year, people that were born in 2000 are going to be at my university. And that's like, gosh, aren't people born in 2000, four years old? It's just a weird thought, you know? Because it's such a gap to be in a whole new millennium that you were born in and never existed earlier. It's very interesting. Especially because it's weird to think they're only four years younger than me, but still. Oh, well. Ba -ba -da -bum -bum -bum. Thank you. And. Hurra! 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 Beautiful. Didn't actually plan that, but alright. Just all luck worked out. Where do I go? There we go. I'm clearly messing this up. There we go. Sky Sanctuary? That's what this place is, isn't it? That's the one. I'll probably be playing ooh, Sonic 3 soon enough. I've played 1 and 2. It will probably be next year, honestly, though. Even though I'm still apparently not done with Sonic, even though I usually do it once a year. No, I've been doing it like, quite... I've been doing Sonic quite consistently, actually, haven't I? Now I think about it. Like, usually it's around this sort of October, November, December time that I've been playing Sonic, but then I had one, like, what was that, like, April time when I did... 3D Sonic, and now I'm back again with Generations in December. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe Sonic will just always be so constant, because there's just so many of the games. Oh, thank you. Alright, never mind. There we go. I do not... I mean, could you... I've only seen Sky Sanctuary properly in 3D. So I keep seeing that uh, that motif of the collapsing towers and all this. I'd be interested to see how that looks in the actual Genesis version of the of the game, the original, you know? Because like the uh, the towers seem to be very, you know, symbol uh, not symbolic, P important, you know. Also, I like the uh, the giant death egg in the background. That's all cool. Oh. <sighs> Huzzah! What's the artwork today? Is it more s s chemical plant? I imagine so, if it's only four. No, it's still Green Hill. Okay. That was not too interesting, just totem pieces, but you know, still, it's something. 
Oops. Hi, uh. I'll come back to you later, buddy. Right. <gasps> Let's go. How fitting we got Knuckles unlocked here. Did Amy appear in... No, when was Amy first invent like, shown? That's what I want to know. Also, look at this. The classic Sonic is closer to the Death Egg. He's supposed to be second. You see? He's following on from modern Sonic's moves. I'm doing it in the right order, damn it. Haha. -ha. But no, really. Like, because uh, we have already unlocked Amy. Like, not unlocked. We've already saved Amy. And Knuckles clearly appears in the third one. So did was Amy also that kind of timing? Was Amy a Genesis thing at all? At least I remember her in his Sonic R, but I don't I don't really know classic Sonic too much, you know? That's as classic as I get. I think. Pretty much, yeah. I mean I guess Sonic Adventure DX is even earlier, but still, you know what I mean? And Amy was definitely in that, but then there was No, because there was like that there was the more Genesis y version of her where she's like very blocky and looks very different. You know, her original design. When she has a car and all that. Hmm. Damn it. 3D tricks. Alrighty then. Thank you. Bam. Classic Sonic's much easier to use these things. And suddenly all my speed is like gone for this level. I'm just not too great at Sky Sanctuary. Maybe because it's all in the sky, but it's still a beautiful location. Can't, I can't fight these guys very well, can I? There we go. Yes! Such a, a non-important goal, but there it is. Alrighty then, no clouds for me. Right into the laser though, that's cool. That's cool. You know, whatever. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh. Ah, uh, nope, that didn't work. Okay. Oh, I can just press the X button. Okay. Ah, huh, I didn't realize I could just press the X button to do this thing. That's pretty easy. All right, did I do that as a button remapping, or was that just how it's always been? That's really cool. Uh, controls. I like that. I approve of that. I guess it's because it got more than two buttons. Unlike the Genesis, you know? Or the, the Dream... No, the Dreamcast definitely had more. Never actually had a, a Sega console, by the way. Probably a, not a surprise to people, but there it is. Oops. 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 Of course not. Uh, 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 thank you. Ah, oh, thought I could perfectly get that. You're gonna get me. Nope, I'm gonna get myself. Oh my god, I'm just looking in the wrong sp I was too busy looking at the chat, sorry. Because someone said, yep, that's where Amy Rose comes from, and I'm just dumb. I was too busy trying to learn my lore. That rich Sonic lore. Ugh, there we go, that's all I needed. And the best bit. Nope, nope, not there. Never mind. Oh, uh, dude. Well, at least I've got plenty of lives, but come on. Ugh. Alrighty. Ugh, someone, Fang, you're counting those deaths still? Because you're going to have quite a fun time with that. I'm going to, you know, not speed run through this anymore. How's that sound? <laughs> also, don't hold right here, apparently. There we go. This is the best bit. There we go. Crumbling towers. You have to play this level three times to get all the red rings. Tut tut. Oh, yeah, I'm doing my best. Death five, yeah, yeah. 